Well, it's level three and Jacinda's let us out for day walks, so getting a, a nice one in this morning, it's beautiful. Gonna go look around this forest for a, a few fellow. Fill the freezer up. Hey. Yep. Just working your way up, up this ridge. Avoiding all the thick stuff. And we'll um, cut over the other side. along to here which is a bit of a more of a main track we'll follow that that way but um, haven't seen any animals yet so plenty of sign but no animals the funny thing is we drove past about 20 um, hinds and bucks or does and bucks coming out our driveway this morning so it's not about killing animals it's just been out, about being allowed out for a walk, stretching the legs. And no, we haven't fallen over and called ambulances and helicopters and needed search and rescue. So, Jacinda, you can go and get fucked. More people will get hurt on mountain bikes and fucking doing DIY than doing this. This is just good for the mind. Pretty much downhill from here. Find a spot to sit and have coffee and lunch later on, snacks. So yeah, enjoyable getting out again. Just stopped for a break. And a bit of a clearing down here. Kayla shot her last deer up here, right at the bottom of that clearing. So, just put the jig on. I have a coffee. There's actually a buck croaking over that ridge just there in the next gully. Not very often, he's done it three, four times now, but coming to the end of the fellow wall. Let's Still good to hear. Well that happened quickly. We were just coming down the track up there. A couple of animals sort of spooked and ran onto this little ridge here. We cut down a bit further and could manage to just see the, the shoulder through the, the scrub. Well, I could see the whole animal but had a clear shooting lane at the shoulder so Kayla didn't want to take the shot. Standing. It was a standing only shot, so she handed me the rifle. And um, yeah, he's ugly. Not pretty at all. But he's out of the out of the gene pool. <laughs> 